Hello, Connections and Separation Collective, and welcome back, Virgo. Today, I'll be channeling messages focusing on what is your person in separation? What is their blockage, uh, obstacles, or challenges right now at this moment in time? And how are they trying to overcome these blockages or challenges? But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right. So let's see here. Virgo, what is your person's blockage, obstacle, or challenge that they may be experiencing right now at this moment in time during this long distance uh, relationship, or for others of you, this connection and separation? Virgo's person, blockage. All right, so they have here the shallow grave. You miss someone. I feel here that their blockage right now is uh, the fact, not blockage, blockage per se, but more of their challenge here. Okay, so this is coming across as a challenge for them. And it's that they are really, really missing you at right now at this moment in time. So much so that it's very difficult to for them to focus on whatever they may be uh, doing right now at this moment in time. Okay, not whether that's um, work, whether that is, uh, you know, family, uh, or, you know, it's very difficult for them to have their thoughts on what it is that they're doing because their thoughts are really going towards you. They miss you. They wish that you were there. And when I put this down here, you will see that this person is looking towards my left hand side and my left, my left hand side is all about the past. So it's like they're thinking about the past or having this nostalgic type of feeling. Um, their focus here uh, are on moments that you guys had together. Um, the last time they spoke to you or the last time you guys exchanged, uh, you know, emails or the last time you had a video phone call. But that's the energy here that's uh, that's coming through. They're having a very difficult time uh, adapting to this transition of having a uh, connection and separation or a long distance relationship. Okay. Let's take a look here at what other obstacles, challenges, or blockages this person uh, may have here. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on with your person. All right. So they have here forgetting oneself. I, like I said to you guys, your person feels like they are kind of stuck in this energy. It's very difficult for them to get out of this energy. Remember that I said their focus and their attention is not going uh, to their job as much um, as is it, it's going a lot towards you. Okay. And there may be here an element of kind of in a way forgetting about themselves. Okay. Kind of uh, focusing so much on what uh, you know, the moments that they're not sharing with you physically, that that may be interfering here with other elements or components of their daily day-to-day -day life, okay? Let's take a look here at more information. What else is going on here with Virgo's person in this co connection and separation or long-distance relationship? What else is going on with Virgo's person, blockage, obstacle, or challenge? They have here, hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. I feel here that they are trying to create a discipline within themselves. They're trying to create some type of routine where they either uh, try to focus harder on work or they try to focus harder on a hobby or something that's going to help them get their mind off the fact that they really miss you, okay, or uh, to turn their attention onto something else so that they can balance so that in a way they can kind of continue moving forward in their day, daily 
daily uh daily lives now what's interesting here is that this goat which is uh the goat of capricorn is half goat and half fish i feel here that there is this sense of duality here there's a part of them that really focuses on their day-to-day -day routines work hobbies uh things of that nature but then there's another part of them which is the heart area okay their uh, intuitive side their feeling their emotions um that is also pulling them on another direction okay now now, Capricorn, uh, the half that is the goat would be more of the earth energy and the part that's the fish would be more of the water energy. And water has a lot to do with emotions, okay? Intuition, emotions, whereas earth is all about that uh, groundedness, okay? So let's see what else is coming up for your person here. How is Virgo's person trying to overcome these challenges, obstacles, or blockages here? How are they trying to move past these blockages or challenges let's see here what is your person trying to do right now in order to overcome that well they are trying to contemplate here they're trying to uh, tap in or harness or embody themselves with the hermit energy there's this deep type of contemplation or uh, this type of going within okay they're trying to really access their higher consciousness in order to learn to kind of like what it is what is it that they need to focus on in order to help them soothe the fact that they miss you the loss the uh the time apart the wishing the yearning the longing that they have for you here um and it's here for the hermit it says i follow my path and the path i feel here that they're trying to uh regain or gain here or trying to focus on is trying to in a way disengage a bit here with the eight of cups trying to disengage here they also have the queen of uh, wands right out right after that um they're trying to disengage emotionally from the fact that they're missing you so much okay not that they are they're not letting go of the love for you okay um that's not what i'm saying i'm saying they're trying to disengage from the low vibrational energy of missing you of wanting to be with you uh you know talk to you um and things of that nature they are in a way trying to gain the sense of acceptance okay it's like how listen nothing's going to change right now at this moment in time i can't see my partner my partner can't see me we can't share this uh, the physicalness of our co connection right now so i need to accept this and focus on x y and z okay here with the eight of cups it says i accept my situation without resistance so they're trying to go with the flow here and part of going with the flow here for your person is trying to disengage or uh, emotionally detach from the uh, missing you so much that it is causing some type of issue here or an imbalance between the what they need to do here on the tangible world versus how they are feeling intuitively and in their heart all right let's see what else or how else is your person trying to overcome these uh, blockages obstacles or challenges right now at this moment in time all right let's see here they have sacred space create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine they're really i mean guys talk about uh confirmation here they have the hermit card which is all about contemplation going within trying to quiet the mind in order to have some type of internal peace uh trying to focus on the happy times or trying to create some type of energy within themselves that there is an inner sense of peace or tapping into their high, higher consciousness here on ways to kind of elevate themselves from uh missing you or their focus so much on what's not happening rather than what they can do in order to change certain type of vibrational energies with inside them some of them may be uh praying more okay uh some of them may be uh trying to manifest uh you know hanging on to their spiritual strength okay to their religious strength to their internal strength here and trying to create moments here where they can quiet their mind now for some of them it may be meditation for others of them it may be yoga but it could be anything that causes or creates that meditative state such as here you see here with the hermit uh and what do i mean by that i mean it could be as easy as someone just drawing or painting, listening to music, playing music, reading, uh, taking uh, walks in the park, okay, uh, coming uh, 
uh, you know, coming to to uh, to this awareness of being more outside, walking through nature, um, experiencing, looking at the water. You know, there's so many different ways here that people can tune into that med meditative state. And that may be here what your person may be doing. Okay. So the sacred space could be a sacred space that they are creating within their daily day to day, their daily lives or day to day life. Okay. Such as a, a hobby. For others of them, they may be creating a sacred space in order for them to meditate or quiet the mind. Some of them may be doing sound healing. Okay. Or type of uh, daily affirmations. Okay. But there is here a sense of your person going in in order to be able to connect uh, with that side of themselves or higher consciousness. Very well, I hope these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here for more messages. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.